I just bought a school bus. And now, uh, gonna go get some buckies. Well, started out with a few things, but then, uh, Dad said we might need to get a basket. <laughs> said anybody who ever comes to Bucky's. I just got out of Bucky's and ate my first meal in the bus. It is like a six hour drive. This is my first time driving something like this. All right, see at the damage. Filling halfway up, cause it was already halfway full. And, and uh, right here at the top. oh boy, $63. Gotta love paying for diesel. Yeah, that's bedtime. Okay, so uh, we've been driving for a few hours. Um, it's been a long day. Gonna call it a night. Got some sleeping pads set up. Um, definitely not a bed, but it'll make do. And um, we're right on the lake, so hopefully we can get a really cool sunrise in the morning. Yeah. Roughing it, Dad. Roughing it. Nice and cozy. Are you cozy over there? I am. <laughs> okay. Um, it's like five o'clock in the morning. Basically, I could hear Dad tossing and turning for like the past two or three hours. Don't guess he was very comfortable. Either he was really cold or wasn't enjoying the sleeping pad anymore, but um, he went out the back door. It definitely got pretty cold, but I stayed warm in my sleeping bag. I tried to offer him my sleeping bag, but um, he decided to take the blankets and he probably got cold in the night because the temperature did drop quite a bit. I'm gonna see if I can go and try and find him. Fingers crossed, hopefully there's coffee in the rest area. I don't know if there will be or not, but um, that would be a godsend. Good morning. Morning, sir. How'd you sleep? <laughs> On and off. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell. I can hear you tossing and turning. Oh, man. On the hip, sir. <laughs> not what they used to <laughs> Do we trust the vending machine coffee? So you get your cup from here, then you get your Keurig from oh, here. Oh, the good old Keurig. Do the thing there. A little Keurig start to the morning. You've got Folgers. Oh, the good old Folgers. Nothing better than a Folgers in your cup. Mm. Good old wilderness There's track days. Well, we had to go back to the car to scrounge up some loose change. The machine wouldn't take card, so we found a few coins. Like some true coffee addicts. What just happened? Well, after scrounging for money, <laughs> <laughs> digging around in backpacks and everything, we had enough, we put a dollar bill in and it's 50 cents for a cup of coffee and it gave me my change. And lo and behold, it also gave me a $1 gold coin. Which one are you going with? Uh, good old faithful. Good old reliable. On the road again. Stopped at the Cracker Barrel, gonna go get some breakfast. My boy Eli put me on those strawberry cheesecake pancakes and uh, they're fire. I am about to devour these.
Okay, so we just got back to the house and I just got out of the shower. So why did I buy a school bus? Well, it's something that I've wanted to do for quite a long time. And all those years ago, God gave me these visions of basically renovating a school bus to live out of and taking throughout the country for evangelism, you know, just making connections and partnering with different churches, different ministries, utilizing my love for the outdoors and travel to basically go across the country, just following the Holy Spirit wherever he would lead me. In all my travels and adventures in the past, I've just always seen God show up in the most remarkable ways and ways that I could never manufacture or come up with on my own, but the way that he orchestrates and puts me in exact moments to meet certain people and have certain experiences, that is where I thrive the most. And so I've just always known that I wanted to utilize a school bus to do exactly that and just live a life on mission and ministry full time. And basically this school bus is a tool that allows me to do that. After I bought it, God revealed to me that it had actually been seven years that I've wanted to do this. I've wanted to buy a school bus. And on top of that, not only has it been seven years, but we actually bought the bus on the seventh day. And if you don't know the significance of that, seven in the Bible is considered the, the number of completion. And so as I was reflecting on God showing me that, I was just dumbfounded. Again, God's plans work exactly how they're supposed to. You know, this year I've been thinking a lot about God's sovereignty. And so it's this understanding that God's ways and his timing are perfect because he knows all things. He is all things. And us, on the other hand, we have a very limited understanding and a very right here and right now type of mindset a lot of times that we can't see the big pictures. And a lot of times we can put God in a box or put our expectations on how God should move or how he should speak. But because of this concept of God's sovereignty and understanding that, I realized that his way and his timing is perfect. And the fact that it was the seventh year and the seventh day, I mean, just speaks volumes to exactly that. In hindsight, looking back on it, if I would have gotten this bus three, four years ago, I probably wouldn't have been ready for it. In fact, I I know I wouldn't have been ready. As I reflect in the days to come and the, the years ahead of me, I want to look back at all of all the things that God has done in my life and how he was preparing me for this exact moment. All the things that I'm aspiring for and dreaming for will come in the right time, but I can't be so focused on that day that I'm missing what he's currently doing in my life right now. And I can't get bitter about what seems like slow progress. There's just been so many lessons that I've learned over the years, whether it be learning to be patient or continuing to hope when it doesn't seem like a hopeful situation. Learning to trust God when I don't have the answers and I don't know what to do. Choosing to rely on him to be the answer. Again, seven years in the making, there's definitely been a lot of lessons and curveballs thrown my way, but every part of it that has led me to this part of the journey has been worth it. And so as I continue to go forward, whether it be good or bad, everything happens for a reason. And our God is involved in all the smallest of details. Obviously, because God is that big and loves us so much, he can handle our questions and our doubts. But it's good to come back to this reminder of the fact that he's God and I'm not. And so I have to trust his timing with all things. Saying all that to say that the journey is continuing, I just have to continue to take steps of faith and trust where God is leading me, even if I don't have the full roadmap, even if I don't understand all of the big picture or how certain things are gonna work out or when things are gonna happen. God knows and he understands what is best for me in each and every season. And so now I have one more final thing that I need to do, but I need to get my dad out here to do it. Alright, so I got my dad here for this part of the video, this very special part of the video. Dad, as you know, uh, all good school buses need to have a name. It's not official until it has a name, right? Yeah. And so I've been thinking about this for <laughs> several years now as I've wanted this school bus. I wanted to come up with a name that would honor you and honor our family. I've been having to keep this secret for a really long time now. 
and I've wanted to tell you and glad that I finally get to share uh, the name with you is going to be Henry <laughs> to honor my papa and your dad just as I thought about it and reflected on just all the trips that he took you on, all the trips that we did together in his camper and his RV, how he instilled travel and that heart for it. And so I couldn't think of a better name to, to give this bus. That's good. I just wanted to, to honor you um, and honor his legacy. Even though he's gone to be with Jesus in heaven, how the things that he instilled in your heart and in my heart um, are still producing fruit. Yeah. I don't think it's any coincidence that in light of, you know, just losing your mom, my Nana, you know, I think this is just perfect timing for it, but I think it's the, the best way that I can honor you for not giving up on me. I just wanted to <laughs> capture that moment on video and, uh, wow. get some tears uh, coming. <laughs> that's not fair. <laughs> Glad I was get to be a, got to be a part this with you when you got up we started pulling off i'm looking at him in the rear view mirror and i see you just smile <laughs> and just a, a glow coming off of you from ear to ear so but yeah it's been a long patient wait <laughs> it has yeah won't say i'm speechless because i'm still talking but i am thank you that's worth waking up for <laughs> i woke him up from the nap <laughs> thank you son love you love you all right, enough of this sappy stuff. <laughs> yeah. Stay tuned for more videos, and uh, hopefully we'll have this thing built out soon. See you next time.